Android Authority, what's going on? My name is Kevin the Tech Ninja, and today we are fulfilling a video request. Now I wish I could say who requested this video, but this is one of those videos that is, gets requested by a lot of people, no matter what video we're actually working on. There's always a guy in the comment that says, hey, what's on your phone or what's your favorite app? So today, here at Android Authority, we are going to go over our favorite applications with Android Authority, what's on our phones. For me, when it comes to my Android, I really like to keep it simple. My launcher is KK Launcher, which to me emulates the Google Now Launcher the best. I usually have a static wallpaper, but right now I'm using minimal wallpaper, which is gorgeous. It's a huge set of wallpapers that are animated and doesn't tax the system or battery at all. You can also customize your own. I'm using Bell UI Icon Pack. My favorite app I use is T9 App Dialer. This brings up an app launcher so you can dial in your applications. It makes launching whatever application I want to breeze. It's the app I install as soon as I get a new phone or flash a new ROM. On my home screen, I like to keep the Google Now widget. Also keep Play Music widget for a random song. The next screen I have just a big calendar so I can stay on top of my tasks throughout the day. And just a few additional apps that I like to use, Check.me, which is now renamed to Mint Bills. It keeps track of your bills and lets you pay them via the application. Bacon Reader Reddit application, TapPath and Linkbubble. They both changed the way I use Android. And if you need more information on those two apps, Joe Hindi did a bang up job on those and the link is down below. This is Kevin the Tech Ninja and that is what's on my phone. All right, so here is my daily driver. This is the Moto X 2014. And the reason why this is my daily driver is because this is the phone that I always go back to when I'm not reviewing another phone. Uh, which is pretty rare, but during the off chance that I am not reviewing one, like if I'm reviewing a tablet or a smartwatch or something, uh, this is the phone that I will normally use. Uh, now, as far as the apps go, um, you can see I keep my home screens pretty, pretty simple. I only have two of them. Uh, so I have four folders down here, and then I have seven icons in the dock, including the app drawer. And up top is Dash Clock, which is a pretty, pretty uh, popular um, widget so I really like that widget it's nice and clean and then on my second home screen here this is simple calendar widget and below it is eye in the sky that is my weather app of choice just because uh, I'm used to it I like the way that it looks and uh, I like the customization behind it so uh, I really like that app uh, so let's go ahead and just go into these folders here these are my most commonly used apps obviously which is why I have them in folders uh, but the first folder is pretty self-explanatory. This is just the Google folder uh, with, with, with uh, just a bunch of Google apps that I use on a daily basis. Uh, second folder is the social folder. So uh, Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, which I actually don't really use all that often. Uh, XDA uh, for browsing XDA forums and Feedly for catching up on my tech news. And folder number three is my tools folder. Um, so I have the calculator, the Android Wear app, um, Moto Connect, which is for the Moto 360, uh, PayPal, um, and this is the default Motorola app for uh, the Moto X for controlling um, Moto Display, uh, Moto Voice, and all that stuff. Uh, Asana, which is a task uh, app uh, that we use here at Android Authority to keep track of all our different tasks that we have to do. Uh, loan Assist, this is for paying off my student loans. Uh, Slack, this is how we communicate with each other here at Android Authority is through this app here. And uh, these two apps down at the bottom are Android Wear apps. So Watchmaker and Wear Face uh, Collection, I think it's called. And the last folder, I call it the Favorites folder, but it's basically just any games that I'm currently playing and also any photo related apps. So I have Zedge and the gallery, obviously. Uh, and Zedge is just a, is just a wallpaper app. Um, and this is the app that I use whenever I wanna download any wallpapers for my phone and all the wallpapers are really high quality. Uh, but that is pretty much it. That is uh, all the apps I use on a daily basis. But I'll go ahead and swipe through my app drawer just so you can see um, some of the other apps that I have in here. Not all of these apps, I actually, some of these apps I actually don't really even use, I just still have them. So, um, but 
you can see everything that I have in here. I try to keep my apps to a minimum. I don't like to install way too many things and just kind of get carried away uh, with a bunch of stuff that I'll probably never use. So, uh, but that's pretty much it as far as my apps go. And, uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys found something in here that might interest you. And, uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, the Moto X 2014 is my daily driver. And those have been the apps that I use on a daily basis. Okay, hey guys, uh, Joe Hendy here, um, and this is my Galaxy Note 3. This has been my daily driver since late 2013. Um, I, I haven't upgraded it in a long time because, you know, you know, as you can see, you know, it doesn't really lag very much, and I really don't have a need to, uh, to upgrade it at all, so I've been keeping it around, and, you know, I know it's supposed to get Lollipop here very soon, and that's always really exciting. Um, on my home screen, I have, you know, basic stuff, email, uh, visual voicemail, Play Store, my messages and all that stuff. So, you know, nothing really special, nothing really unique. I do have the flashlight there just in case I need it. Um, over here, I keep all of my uh, social media stuff, uh, all the utility stuff that I use because, uh, you know, I like having that all in one spot. I always know where to go to get it. So it's like, oh yeah, you know, just swipe to the left if I need to get to something like, you know, my bank or, you know, go to shopping or social media or any of that stuff. As you can see, you know, it's a big, huge device and even I have trouble wielding it sometimes. Um, all the way on the right are my video games. Uh, I just finished testing like 35, 40, 50 video games. So I cleaned out my uh, my stock a little bit, so I don't have too much on my device right now. Uh, I've been getting into Sky Force a whole lot and obviously Monument Valley and Clash of Clans has been on my phone for ages. Um, I do play fantasy hockey. Uh, I'm not very good at it, unfortunately, but you know, my team has been doing pretty well as of late. So that's always good. Um, you know, it's weird because like I'm the app guy, so I'm supposed to have like more stuff than everybody, but I actually keep my devices pretty clean because I do review so many applications that I don't want all that stuff just hanging around there. So I, you know, I keep the bare minimum on my phone and when I'm done reviewing an application, unless I'm deciding to keep it forever, I generally uh, uninstall it. So, you know, my devices are pretty clean and uh, I do believe Gary is up next. Hello everybody, Gary Sims here from Android Authority. What have I got on my Android smartphone? Well, as you can see, I'm using the Google Now Launcher and basically I like to keep all my screens fairly cluttered. I don't like having to delve down into the app drawer to find things. I really do like just to keep things that I use a lot here on the front pages. I do use folders occasionally. For example, here I've got the and my news folder where I've got my BBC News app and the Yahoo News Digest. But in general, I keep things up front ready to get them. So let's go through the apps pretty quickly. Here I've got the Amazon Kindle ebook reader app. I do a lot of reading. Evernote, absolutely fantastic app for keeping all the notes and things that I need inside of it. That's really a go-to tool for me every day on the desktop and on mobile. I use Twitter quite a lot. And of course, down here at the bottom, we've got the phone icon, Gmail, absolutely essential. Google Chrome, again, absolutely essential, and the camera app. I've got, I'm really into widgets. Here at the top, we've got the Alexia widgets, which allows me to create a user-defined set of power tools, which allows me to see how much space I've got left on the device, a calendar. You can choose whatever you like, and I really like that. And this one is power toggles. I like the able to have quick access to the flashlight and to be able to turn the screen on and off just by touching the button there. On the second screen, I've got some more tools. I use the Amazon App Store a lot. I love the free app of the day thing they have going there. That was the one down from yesterday, cut the rope time travel. Slack is a tool we use at Android Authority, always in there, talking to the rest of my colleagues and teammates there. And here are the games that I play most of the time. They're mainly just time wasters. If I've got two minutes to spare, I need just to distract myself. Tower Madness, Madness, I absolutely love. Solitaire, and I really like the, uh, the Dash a series of games, Hotel Dash, Dinner Dash, and so on. Down here, I've got Copilot and uh, Nokia Maps for navigation. I use, because we've got work in Android Authority from members all around the world, I've got a couple of uh, time tool, time budding world, time to tell me what time it is in different parts of the world, so I'm not trying to send people emails at three o'clock in the morning, I'm wondering why they're not responding to me. Total Commander, I use that on Windows as well. Absolutely fantastic tool for doing stuff, uh, for file manager stuff. And of course, Feed, Feedly, which is the RSS reader that I swapped to after Google shut down their RSS reader. Here are some games from my youngest boy. He's only three, so that's just useful for them. If I need to keep him distracted for a little while, and Rocket Player for playing some of the MP3s that I've put onto the SD card. And there it is. Pretty simple. Productivity, games, stuff for the kids, big mixture, all up there on the front page, uh, homepage, 
just useful, ready for me to grab whenever I need it. Hope you enjoyed looking at this. My name's Gary Sims. Thank you. Hi guys, Jace here from the Android Authority team. And as some of you may know, I am all about audiobooks and audio podcasts. And to that, I'm a big fan of Audible. You can see their uh, Audible widget right on my home screen. But, you know, four or five books uh, a month is not enough. So I have a subscription to audiobooks.com and have their widget right below there. This is my home screen. It simply uses uh, the Google Launcher. And these are the apps that I used most uh, frequently. Um, I'm also a big fan of Double Twist. Double Twist is a uh, media player. And it also is used to convert uh, my very large iTunes library uh, to my um, Android devices. So that is a really great way that you can automatically wirelessly sync. I've talked about that before, but I love it very much. And this is Slack. Slack is the um, online collaboration tool that we use on the Android Authority team. And I thought when we initially started on Slack a few months ago that that would just be another tool that you kind of have to be burdened with. But uh, Slack is actually really good. It's engaging. I like it. We all use it. It's a fantastic thing. I've also talked about AnyDo that I use every day. AnyDo is a task manager uh, kind of reminder that for some reason is able to keep me on track uh, consistently without being pestering and I really really like that now as you guys know I'm a pretty hardcore calendar geek I've spent crazy amounts of money on the best calendars but I still keep coming back to Google Calendar I had lots of hopes for it after the lollipop update and the material design but unfortunately they've taken out a proper month view I mean they have a preview month view but it's just not the the same it's not what I want so I'm on the hunt again for better uh, calendar apps that does everything that I want it to do. I use Google Keep quite often just to uh, take notes and pictures and store them in the cloud and all that good stuff. On my second page, this is the, you know, I have prayer books, uh, games, uh, you know, I'm big Angry Birds and Quiz Up guy. Uh, you guys know I love Daddy Long Legs. I played that for quite a while with other Android Authority hosts. Asana is our task manager that we use as a team. And, and uh, I use Flipboard quite a bit too for my news, a uh, little bit of Snapchat. But that is really about it. I try and keep it clean and minimal so that it's fast. Um, I don't I don't root. At least I haven't rooted this phone because I haven't really needed to. It does everything I want it to do. It's super snappy, never lags. And uh, yeah, obviously these are all my cards. I use those cards quite a bit. If you guys have any other questions, please put them in the comments below. I'll be sure to read them and answer as many as I can. Hey guys, Ash here, and I'm just quickly going to show you what's on my home screen and what sort of apps I use on an everyday basis. So my phone is rooted and I use the Google Now launcher in conjunction with Exposed. The module I use is the Exposed GEL settings. Now, let me just quickly find that so I can show you. Now this allows me to have everything that Google Now offers, but with the functionality of something like Nova. I tend to keep things quite simple, so you'll never really see too much on my home screen. I uh, like to let the wallpaper shine through. I have the Appy Gamer widget, which aggregates gaming news, and underneath that I have the Google Calendar widget, which I love. Over to the right, we have the Appy Geek widget, which like before, aggregates uh, tech news and also general news. Underneath that, we have the Google Keep widget, which I use in conjunction with Evernote. It's great for taking and inputting quick notes. I've made a quick selection for you to show you the apps that I use on an everyday basis. First up, we have Endomondo, which is a fitness app that I use to track all my runs and cycle rides. It offers a really nice interface with good functionality for tracking the various stats. Secondly, we've got F1 Reader. Now I'm into Formula One and this is a great app for keeping up with all the news that may happen. Moving on, there's Fing, which is a great network analysis tool. There's Blacklist, which gives the ability to block any calls that don't meet a certain set of parameters. So for example, you could set it to block any numbers that are private or any numbers that aren't part of your contacts. Other than listening, I normally use two apps and they're quite simple. The first is the simple Last FM Scrobbler and it does just that scrobbling. It's awesome. Secondly, there's Songkick, which tracks the artists that I follow via Last FM and inputs them into Google Calendar. Finally, for the last bunch of apps, there's Pinout. 
I am often making cables and this app is a great reference for any form of soldering to find out what terminals are to be paired with what. The last two I think you will know. The first is ES File Explorer, which in my opinion is one of the best file explorers out there. It has great functionality. And then there's Pocket. For those who don't know, it allows you to save articles for offline reading. And there you go guys, that was my home screen and also what sort of apps I tend to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Thanks for listening and back to you, Kevin. Thanks, Ash. And this was Android Authority, what's on my device. Now, before you leave, make sure you press that like button and also go ahead and leave down what's on your device in the comments below. As always, guys, my name is Kevin the Tech Ninja and this is Android Authority, your source for all things Android. Take care, guys.